Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Monday's trading session, the 30th of October 2000, and uh, or should I say 31st of October 2016. Be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs. Uh, also, uh, visit TradeSignal at w.tradesignal.com and uh, certainly download the latest signals and market updates from leading providers. You can also download the app via the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of uh, markets, um, the focus on markets really number one uh, is Clinton Gate or Clinton uh, uh, additional emails have been found and an investigation have, has been opened up uh, on, on late Friday. Okay, it's from Mr. Comey. So again, that uncertainty uh, exists. So you have uh, political uncertainty in the US with uh, Trump potentially gaining in certain battles, battleground states. Uh, such as California. So again, it just basically creates uncertainty. So uncertainty is negative for the market. We certainly had a flush on the US markets on a late Friday on the back of that news. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, OPEC certainly met over the weekend and failed to agree to any real uh, potential uh, concrete um, um, oil cuts or production cuts. So again, that's certainly negative. That's sending oil at the moment currently is sub, uh, it's almost 48. We were below 48 at one time. So again, certainly bearish and uh, certainly is a risk of a uh, potential move. Now, Asian markets overnight, initially we were negative. I mean, we did actually finish negative as well. Uh, the Nikkei is certainly down 20 points towards the close. You had the Hang Seng down 20 points and the Shanghai finishing negative as well. It was just the Australian markets that were certainly uh, overwhelmingly uh, uh, bullish, okay? Now, uh, a negative uh, reaction there in Asian markets or Asian trade, okay? Uh, now, we have Clinton gate or Clinton concerns, we have oil concerns, we have Asian markets lower on the back of this political uncertainty in the US. And now in the uh, European session, um, if uh, obviously the markets were not already bearish, we also now have uh, German retail sales worse than expected, came in at minus 1.4%, certainly surprising a lot of individuals, okay. We've had uh, UK mortgage approvals stronger than expected on the stronger side. And we've also had GDP, European GDP coming in uh, in line, okay, in line with expectations. Also, the uh, inflation number certainly coming in line as well. Now, we're looking forward to US data in the next 30 minutes or so. Again, that will dictate the next potential move. It is to do with inflation and personal consumption. So, again, it will move the US dollar, which in turn obviously will affect the Euro USD. Now, the Euro USD has actually broken above 1.09. Okay, so again, it's considered bearish for European markets. So you have weaker retail sales and a stronger euro. That's a double whammy, okay? And therefore, you are looking for a bearish bias. So let's look at the technical setup now. Okay, let's start off with the German DAX. Let's go to the daily chart first and foremost. We already have a potential double top in place. Daily chart certainly remains bearish. 60-minute chart all eyes on this h &S formation. You have an unfilled gap at... Uh, 10,500 and you have another unfilled gap below at 10,420. So from my understanding and my perspective, I'm looking for this h &S formation to play out and for those gaps below to close. Okay, so certainly my bias is certainly bearish on the German DAX. Bringing up the French CAC at the moment, it's, out, it's certainly uh, out of play. So I'm not going to uh, discuss the, uh, the French CAC at present. Okay, let's just move on. Let's look at the uh, FTSE 100 now. Okay, so FTSE 100 chart. Let's go to the daily chart at present. So FTSE 100 daily chart, you, you still have this potential bear flag scenario. Okay, you do have support below, which is seen at uh, 6930 or 68. Sorry, 5930. Okay, so you have 5930 support. 60 minute chart at the moment still remains weak with OPEC concerns, Hillary concerns. And obviously weaker German data as well. So again, if this support were to fail, okay, which is at 6960, then you are looking for a flush down to 6940. And uh, you are looking at a support of 5920 in the FTSE 100. So certainly bias remains bearish in the FTSE, especially with OPEC concerns, okay. Looking at the Euro stocks now. Bring up the Euro stocks. Again, Euro stocks, same pattern, folks. Okay, daily 60 minute chart. You have this h &S formation target 3025. So my bias certainly remains bearish in the back of obviously weaker German retail sales, Hillary concerns, OPEC concerns, 
certainly a risk off tone we have wpp as well potentially forecasting uh, sales going forward certainly weaker than expected as well so again over and overall net net bias remains bearish we do have support on the euro stocks here around the 3050 and then you have support at 3040 if that were to go then you have the next support which is at seen at uh, 30010 so again my understanding is bias remains bearish unless we get a fundamental catalyst that is bullish okay so u.s election uncertainty takes center stage on that note, be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye.